today, I wanted to continue amongst this topic and discuss a few more things with you before actually getting into the web services testing. I'm just spending, taking a little bit of time to get you guys familiar with everything so that it makes your learning curve much smaller and makes your life much easier because that's what we do. So today, I'm going to try to cover how to interact with UFT API and I'm going to show you guys how to link steps together to create a flow. So let's open up UFT. It's already open from last session. And if you guys can remember, I started this API tutorial test here where I multiply two numbers. So first thing you guys should notice is how this has this, you may call it an action. It has a name and it's called multiply four. This was just a generic name that QTP decided to assign it at the time. You can change this property. If you look over here on the right side, there's what's called the properties pane. And in this properties pane, you may notice it has three tabs. It has a general tab. And here you guys can see it has some properties. And if I want it, I can go over here and change the step name. And what should I name the step? Well, logically, I want to name it to what we're testing, right? Multiply five times four. So how about I change it to that? Just a logical name for our purposes. Okay, and then it just has a step ID. There's another pane here called input checkpoints. You guys may see that little tooltip that shows up. In here, obviously we can put in inputs and checkpoints. So check it out. We interacted with this in our multiplication step. We put in two properties, A and B. These were the two numbers that were multiplied. And down here in the checkpoint section, we put in the expected value and we made sure that it was validated. Finally, there's the events pane. And here you can come in, perform some handlers. We'll get to that stuff in the future. Just wanted to make you guys aware of what is here. 